Hello and welcome to another maths video. This time we're going to be looking at factorising a quadratic expression. Um, this is just where we're factorising to basically we're factorising to double brackets. Um, let's just recap um, how we expand double brackets and take a look at um, a couple of things that we should notice when we do this. So here I've got x bra uh, sorry x plus three in brackets and then next to it x plus four in brackets. We can think of this as the long multiplication version of expanding brackets. Um, and so what I can do is I can just put my x and my plus three and my x and my plus four um, into um, a little multiplication grid and then multiply out each of these things. So x times x gives me x squared. X times plus three gives me plus three x. X times my plus four gives me plus four x and then plus 3 times plus 4 gives me plus 12. So um, then write these things out, x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 12 and then collect the two bits in the middle together because um, they're the same, uh, they're like terms is what we would say they are. So 3x plus 4x they can be collected together to give us plus 7x plus 12 and that there would be my final answer. So let's just take a look at um, some interesting things about what we've just done here or some notable things. The first thing to notice is that this part here, this plus 7, has come from basically from adding plus 3 and plus 4 together or those bits there and there. Now the bit on the end, this bit here has come from multiplying 3 and 4. Um, and so if we were to um, to factorise this expression, say we were to factorise x squared plus 7x plus 12, now we know straight away that our answer is going to be x plus 3 bracket x plus 4. We know this because um, remember that factorising is just the reverse process of expanding. So if it has expanded x squared plus 7x plus 12 um, then to factorise it we already know that it's going to be x plus 3 and x plus 4. Um, however if I didn't know that what I would be looking for are simply two numbers that would be adding to make this plus 7 in the middle but multiplying together to make the number on the end. So um, it would factorise to x plus 3, x plus 4. Let's take a look um, at a slightly different example and use this idea that we're looking for two numbers that will multiply to make the number on the end but add to make the number in the middle. Um, so let's do that now. Uh, let's choose another one. Let's have x squared um, plus, uh, what should we have, plus um, 9x plus 20. Um, so here what I need to do, I'm being asked to factorise I'm being asked to factorise uh, x squared plus 9x plus 20 so um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw the brackets out first and I know it's come from double brackets because we see this uh, format, something squared plus uh, something x plus a number on the end um, every time we expand double brackets so what I can do is I can put my x and my x in um, now we need to find two numbers that will multiply to make this number on the end but will add to make plus 9 so what two numbers will um, multiply to make 20 but sum to make um, plus 9 uh, so that will be plus 5 and plus 4 and it's really as simple as that. However, it does get a little more complicated when we start looking at negative numbers. Um, but this is just a quick intro. We'll take a look at more examples in the next video.